The city of Jamestown Council once again held off on voting for eight new firefighters for the Pearl City, which would be partially paid via a $1.8 million firefighting grant. Bronson Rasmussen joins us live from the newsroom today with more on what the lawmaking body has to say and many others who came forward to speak as well, Bronson. Justin, the lawmaking body had a very lengthy discussion at their Monday night voting session around the costs of hiring the additional personnel. In attendance was almost the entire fire department and multiple members of the public advocating for a safer Jamestown. While there are reasonable uncertainties of how these positions will be funded in the future, we don't know what the city finances are going to be or what the funding opportunities will be. What we do know is that we have a need and FEMA agrees. Many agree the personnel is essential. However, more sustainable funding is needed. Hundreds of pages of grant guides available to support local officials who are seeking the funding that is needed to sustain and enhance our communities. I brought 15 copies of the request form of these guides and have pre-checked the fire and emergency services option for you. Ultimately, all but Councilwoman Regina Brackman voted to table the resolution. Councilman Bill Reynolds was hesitant to agree. Yes, I'm strongly asking council to not just kick it down the road and let the next administration or next council worry about where we're going to get this money. The main fear appears to be what happens after grant funding runs dry, a mass layoff. People will not be happy when we are looking at other departments having to either eliminate staff, the roads won't get plowed, and many other things that are a choice that this council would have to make when we don't have the funds. The office is working to set up a meeting with FEMA, the grants provider, to address further questions by city council members. Now in a statement by Mayor Sunquist, he says that he is disappointed in the council's decision to not take action on the safer grant hires. He goes on to say that the questions brought up by council members were never asked before the voting session. Since receiving the safer grant in mid-February, the city has 180 days to officially accept the monies, so a final vote is expected sometime in May, with the next city council work session on May 8th. Reporting live in the newsroom, Brad Sarasison, WNY News Now.